Kale Combs, a 6'4 guard out of Nixon, Missouri, has been a centerpiece for this Eagles team for four years now. Is Kale legit or is it all just talk? Can he continue to play at a high level all year? Everyone hears the hype, but where are all the offers at? Does his game even translate to the next level? Can he really be the leader that brings this team back to the state championship? Guess we'll just have to wait and see. For one Nick's a senior, it's as busy as ever. Chris Nighthouse has the story. Between the exhilaration of a slam dunk and the thrill of scoring a touchdown, Nick's a two-sport star, Cale Combs, has a clear favorite. He's uniquely qualified to answer the question. The All-State Eagles basketball star also finished in the top five in our area in yards and touchdowns as a wide receiver. Combs remembers how PE teacher and head coach John Perry convinced him to give it a shot. Uh, it was a lot different from last year just because like people didn't really know me as a football player, so they didn't they didn't pay too much attention to me, so I kind of got whatever I wanted just off one on ones, but. But yeah, it was a lot different this year just because I had a good season last year. So people was like double teaming me and triple teaming me. So uh, it wasn't it wasn't like a year that I really wanted in terms of like receptions and touchdowns and stuff like that. But it, I think it was still, I still had like a good, a, a solid year. Make sure we know. I've got to be able to put you in a game and you guys have an idea if I call two games that you guys know what we're doing. Uh, just more opportunity. And Coach Perry is like, he's a really good coach in terms of like, not even like football making you better, but as a person. I, I could like tell just like straight from the vibe he gave off from like the first time I met him, he was just like all about like making me a better person. So that's why I really play football. Mighty, it's like a Mighty Mice league or whatever, like a little, like a little uh, kids league or whatever. And uh, at the center, the right up at Nixon. And so I don't remember when they started, but like first or second grade till like sixth. That's when I played. Did you take football serious when you played back then? Heck, no, I didn't take it serious. Sorry. No, we, 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 we was really good just because we had good athletes. Like we, everybody, like it was like, it was like that team from last year. Like our, our basketball team, like Jerry, Colin, Jordan, all of them, like we all played together and we would like kill everybody. But yeah, we didn't like really take it serious because we was blowing everybody out. Sorry. My sophomore year, that's when Coach Perry, I think, first got to the school. And so he was telling, because I had a wage class with him. And so he was like, all right, if you sleep in my wage class, I'll let you play football uh, next year. Uh, you got to play football next year. So I was like, all right. And so he had came in with like a little contract, like in the mid year. And he had like told me he wanted me to play football or whatever. And it was like, he ain't never going to make me run across the middle. And then, yeah, when I told my friends, they was like, yeah, no, nah, you ain't going to do it. Like, but they, they, didn't, they didn't think I was. It was really good. Like first, my first season, the first season or whatever, like after I had like, so I don't even, I don't even like really know who made my huddle film. It was one of the coaches, I think, but uh, I put it out there and then I got like a ton of coaches like calling me and texting me and stuff like that. And it was, it was like, it was big time that first year. And then this year, it's like, it was a little slower, but I'm still getting like steadily coaches. Like every week I'll get probably like a new coach that, that texts me and just like wants me to come up and visit or he's just calling me and seeing what my vibe is and stuff like that. So, or seeing what I'm thinking like basketball, football. So it's definitely like, it's definitely cool. How about this? He can't shoot that, right? Uh, if, there's two, if there's two, already have, he can't shoot that, right? But it's going to be offsides, right? If he goes past the line. Yeah. That's offsides. Yeah, that's offsides. Before the ball. But he can't, he can't shoot that, right? Like, uh, if America throws it in, and there's two already in the box. Oh, there's no offsides on throwing. Yeah, I'm going to be there. I was like, if y'all don't win, we're going to kill you. Yeah. yeah. I don't like that. Hey, hey, hey. I'm going to wear tomorrow. Gray jacket. Yeah. Okay. Gray jacket. We'll go gray jacket. I don't have any sweats. If you guys want our black sweats or whatever sweats, it doesn't matter to me. Uh, but we'll wear a gray jacket tomorrow. Bus leaves at 3:15. Eighth hour tomorrow. We have head and shoulder shots for everybody uh, from Alex Stein, our communications director. He's a quick shot of everyone. I'm gonna let you guys leave early that have a game tomorrow. Okay. You guys need to go get something to eat. The bus leaves at 3.15. Don't be rolling in here at 3.30. Okay? Any questions about tomorrow? What are we wearing? Why? Wearing gray. Gray. 
Great white. So hey, let's go. Finally game day. Hey, junior high plays here tonight. If you guys are bored, look for something to do at 530. Eagles on three, one, two, three. Eagles. I'm 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 playing baseball. I'm playing baseball this year. Alright. Uh, no, I'm about to go home. Go home, eat, uh, and lay down. And I'm a me and Mungo get a haircut later. That's about it. Before this year, uh, I go to I go in the school at like ten, but before I, I had to get up at, go at seven thirty. So me and Stan been going up, go, coming up here usually at like five thirty every morning. Listen, this is this is a little later than normal, but I think it's better. <laughs> they say I was lazy. I don't know. I guess you can really say what you want to, but I don't know. Nah, I don't see that. They don't see the five thirty, but. It's whatever. I mean, yeah, I don't really know what to say. Like, if you don't, if you don't know me, you will, you might think that just because I'm like real nonchalant, like I don't really talk to a whole lot of people. But yeah, no, I'm far yeah, from in that. school, like I have my AirPods on the whole time. Like, someone, someone, uh, someone, I, I forgot. My mom, my mom was in the uh, stands watching my game, and some like parent behind her didn't even know it was my mom, and they was talking bad about me. They was like, he's all, he's so cocky, like he doesn't talk to anybody. But yeah, I, I mean, I, it's not really cocky. I just go from class to class, like straight to class. I just got my AirPods in. I don't really talk to a lot of people. I've been that my whole life. Like, my mom's an introvert. I'm an introvert. Like, you know I mean, my whole family's introverted, except for my dad. He's extroverted. But yeah, I've been like that my whole life. So it ain't really like that new. It ain't, it ain't because I just got like good. Or, like, I started getting like recognition. It's just how I've always been like that. No, I took it out because it's hot because I'm pissed off because oh, these ain't right. basketballs in my car. The life of being a coach and a trainer, you leave your basketballs in a car when it's cold and this is what happens. Yeah, this is late. 5.30, oh, yeah. Uh huh, for, since what? Seventh grade? Right. Yeah, seventh grade, 5.30, yeah. since seventh grade, yeah. So these like, are late. Only reason because I start school later. he starts school <laughs> so he gets a break. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I don't go to 10, but yeah, if I yeah. if I was going like 7.30, like normal time, yeah, it would be 5.30. Yeah, that's the normal time. But now these ones, since he is late, you get him let him sleep in. He's put in his work since he's been in the seventh grade. There's no point to keep doing it now. If he has late school, let him get a little bit of breather. I tell you what though, dude. Today, I am excited and ready for the game. I know I that much. Yes. Yeah, so like basketball season, I'll probably get in like, honestly, like five times a week for a workout, for working out. But football, it was probably like one, two times a week, maybe, just because like I still want to be focusing with the football team, but uh, I still want to be on top of basketball. Like when I came back, I didn't want to be like too far away from basketball to where it was like going to take me longer games to come back than it was basketball season. So I, I definitely, I definitely uh, was still getting in one, two times a week with, in the football season. But I also wanted to get my time. Like I didn't want to, you know what I'm saying, get away from football. And, and be, you know, I want to be locked in for football. So in May, it was like with BBE, like my, or my summer team, whatever, like AAU. It was with them, and so, and then, and then June, they, you give like, they give us like the month off to be with our school ball teams and stuff like that. So I was doing like, yeah, football workouts in the morning. Like we was going like 6 a.m. And then like straight from then, like it was like tonight or something. I would come in here and like practice sometime. It, it was a little easier for me this year and like last year because I started playing uh, EYBL which I think is the, the best shoe circuit in, in the nation, or maybe in the world, honestly. It's, the competition is crazy, but I started, I, I played up 15U in eighth grade, uh, and I was like one of three to do that. The other, the other two were like Michael Porter Jr. and Trey Young. Because last summer at Peace Jam, it, it was really cool. I, I got to play with uh, two really good guards, Liam Block and Scotty Middleton. And yeah, it's, it's a lot different because like, you have an 8 a.m. 8 a.m. game. You know, usually nobody in the gym 8 a.m. game. But I, I walked in there and 
we warming up and, and then I, I see like a, a group of kids like run to the door. I look over and Carmelo coming in the gym. He's sitting down. And then like I look over there again and, and Carmelo talking to Coach Calipari for Kentucky. And then like uh, the John Schneider, Duke's uh, head coach, he's, he's in there too. So it's like, yeah, you just woke up, it's 8 a.m. So it's like, dang, you really gotta like play. And yeah, everybody everybody's good. So you can't, you know what I'm saying? You gotta be on your A game. I got another trainer that I wanna give a lot a lot of like props to and shout out to uh, Don Gray. He he helped me with all my like I would say like my ball handling skills, like all that, like just being dominant. He really helped me with that. And I, I started working out with him in like fourth grade. And before that, I was just like really like only pass first. Like, I was only passing the ball. I was maybe scoring like six a game, even though I was bigger and better than everybody. Like I was like scoring six a game, just passing. And, like I have easy buckets and just passing, just to pass. So when I got with him, he really like instilled like a mindset that I need to kill and dominate. So I want to give a big shout out to Don. And then, yeah, when I got with Stan, like I already had like the, the, the all that because uh, Don. And so Stan, me and him was just working on like sim like simplifying the game, like one drill pull up, two drill pull ups, catch two threes. So uh, he definitely helped me with that because from ninth grade year to this year, my three point percentage and all that has went up. Like, I don't know how much, but it, it definitely has. And yeah, like that first, that first year working out with Stan, we didn't even touch like we didn't touch the three point line at all. We just did like mid ranges the whole time and free throws like, and then it really helped me uh, progress on my three point percentage. So yeah, now in high school I definitely like took it took it up to myself to like really get in the gym and like work because I know like high school it's a lot a lot of people that catch up to you also. And I knew I was in, in middle school I was just going off my talent. So high school yeah I definitely and, and Stan also was like. It's on you now. Like you gotta call and text me if you want to work out. So it, it was. He definitely put put that on me, but I also put it on myself. Like I need to be be more like mentally disciplined and like get the work in that I need to. So. pre-game routine of this for the most part. It's been this way, what, since seventh grade? Normally do his pre-game routine. Handles, a lot of free throws, a lot of mid-range stuff, because most kids don't go over mid-range. And then going a couple threes, and then we going right in his ball screen reads and stuff after that. I would say like, I would say like my, like, you know, like ninth grade, I had like a really low, uh, or no, like eighth and ninth grade, I had like a really low, Three point percentage, and then like we started doing just only. You remember those workouts where we were just only mid range? Yeah. <laughs> and we didn't even touch threes. We didn't touch threes. How long? Like, a few months. Uh, wasn't yeah, it? it was like a long time. Yeah. And then like, uh, and then like, my threes just got a ton better from just only shooting mid ranges and workouts. Like I went from shooting like I probably shot like thirty something percent to like my sophomore year I probably shot like forty two, and then last year I shot like forty six percent, which is like top five and field goal percentage and mix of history. So. Just like shooting mid range is probably a lot of three points. That's a, that's the secret for the kid. Huh? Thank you. 
one. Hey, way to call. Free throw. Way to call. Hey, making 10. We got our stuff in. So normally on our pre-games, we normally don't go. So we normally we go in at 5.30. We're normally going, especially since December, we normally go about an hour or so. But on game days, we'll go about 25, 30 minutes just to get the shots, get the blood flowing. And that's about it. Have to, have to, especially if you want to, especially if you want to separate yourself from everybody else. Because most people count practices as meaning this. I'm like, did you do your work today? Did you practice to get your shots up? Yeah, we had practice, and then after we got done with practice, we had a team shoot around. So you had a team practice and a team shoot around, but you didn't do any work on your own. Because all those both are team activities that are required. Working your own isn't required of but yourself. So you see other people that separate themselves from putting in work. Difference right there, they just put in their own work. So if you want to get better, quit thinking just doing team shooting drills and team practices is going to be it, because it's not. Well, that's, that's with him. Look, look at the difference with him. When he was in the seventh grade, the thing with him was, and people forget, when Kale was in the seventh grade, um, he was playing up with Mokan. The only reason he's playing, able to play up with Mokan because he puts in his work to separate himself from other people. And when he played up with Mokan that year, you were playing up two grades that year, weren't you, or one? It was my maybe seventh grade summer. I was playing up my, uh, ninth grade, so yeah. Yeah, he was playing up two grades. Yeah, I was about to say, seventh grade summer, he played ninth grade, played two grades, but that's because that work separated him from everybody else. Good job. Hey, three more. Shoot, man. Who was that? That was with Javon, yeah, Aiden. Javon, Aiden, Terrace, Ooh. Uh, Cooper, he's point, point guard. Hey. Uh, Jason Green. Yep. Yeah, there's a lot of them. I think like, I don't know, four or five of them is like, Do yeah, like Ter Terrace at Michigan. Missouri? No, Terrace, no, Terrace at, at Michigan. Michigan yeah. And then Jason at uh, Creighton. Yep. Aiden's at Mizzou. At Mizzou. Uh, Javon's at Pepperdine. So yeah, no, that was a good team. Yeah. My, I, I, was, I, I definitely was in this size, and there was all like that was like that 15 year. There was there was bigger than most 17 year teams. Like it was. Crazy. Hey bro, you were slim. You had the you had the hat. You had the flat top. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, I can't wait till you get the footage of that one, bro. You're gonna love that one. What? Uh, seven. You know what's the fun fun thing about this one is this. Seventh grade, what that wasn't even the first time, honestly. When we no, think about it, remember at the apartment buildings, remember when uh yeah. when you and Caleb and all y'all used to come over? That yeah. was when you were playing that, that, I was little, yeah, like real little, like probably like He was fifth grade. Fifth grade, yeah. And here, here was a story for you, I got one for you. Fifth grade, that was when I think I don't know if he he remembers it once I bring it up. That was when he played with the Knights and they played against Bronny and the blue chips in the yeah. championship. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> that was the biggest that was that was when I was like, oh shoot, basketball really bigger than just like these regular AU tournaments because, mm -hmm. yeah, that was like fifth grade. My team, the St. Louis Knights, we was like top five, top ten in the nation. And we played the Blue, uh, blue Chips. It was like 2,000 people there. It was like 10,000 people watching online. Yeah. It was packed. <laughs> I was in fifth grade. I was nervous as a month. <laughs> <laughs> That's the crazy thing is like with you and then even with uh, Jalen, your brother, like both of them, like they both had those careers where they were pretty highly taught and going in like, especially middle school. You guys yeah. both were pretty, pretty solid in middle yeah. school. Yeah, I'm glad that I was able to like play with the Knights and stuff like that because they prepared me for like, yeah, like high school, or junior high and stuff like that. Just playing in front of like big crowds and being like looked at all the time definitely helped. So I'm glad I was a part of that. I know. Man, it has been some years though, man. I'm appreciative of it all. I really am, man. He's a good dude, good family, man. Treat me good. Hopefully, he keeps on handling business, keep putting in work, and I pray, shoot, hey, get back to the state championship again, trying to yeah. see if we can make something happen. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, everybody's got shoes and socks. If you're wearing an undershirt, it's got to be white. If you're wearing leggings, it's got to be white. Okay, you keep nothing red or whatever. Man, some of y'all wearing shorts. That was y'all I didn't. I thought it was going to be warm like uh, the other day. It was going to be warm. Oh, yesterday too. That's about to be like.
was warm. I told the sun, I was like, okay, we're going to be straight. I walk outside, I'm like, yeah. I was driving to school. My, my hands ice cold. I was like, oh my God. That would be the best idea. I've been trying to hold I got like a lot. We're gonna bang if you should wear the red socks or the ankle socks. Okay. I'm feeling the white socks. I'm, I'm not gonna wear these red ones. Do you think this is the spirit that's gonna fall? Oh, that's what I'm saying! Oh, no. <laughs> no, you should put them all the way up. Oh, that's the wrong foot. I don't care. It's gonna take off. No, you're just peeping to see what I'm saying. That's like. what I'm saying. I'm just peeping to see. That's not bad. That's not bad. No, that's bad. This is no, horrendous. I'm not doing that. Yeah, that. Nah, Jordan. There. Jordan, they're praying on your down. It's not bad. That's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I switch back to the angle socks. Angle socks. That's what I'm saying. What's on the pregame playlist, my guy? Christmas pre music? Christmas <laughs> music. <laughs> Come on, now. You don't like it? No, I like Christmas music. It definitely put me in a good mood, but I don't know. I don't really like, have no playlist. I just like I just download songs from my library. I play like calm stuff the whole the whole time, and then like right before I go out, I play something like super lit. It's the same for football too. Yeah, I do the same thing. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I'm wearing one in all, in all tournaments just because since ninth grade, my my only point guard was Colin Ruffin, and he. Got me the ball a ton. He was a really good point guard. Uh, so and I, I played with him since fifth grade too. So that was like one of my brothers. So I, I wore, I'm wearing it for him just because I want to, you know what I'm saying, carry carry his little the one legacy on for a little while, <laughs> a little a while well, longer. And I, I talked to him about it. And he was like, yeah, please wear one because like that'd be, he's like, he's like, that'd be really, really cool just to see you out there with one on. Because I, yeah, I always wore 11. He's always wore one. So. Yeah, I'm doing that for him. Player butts off. You guys have honestly, I've told several of our coaches, you guys have been, for four weeks of practice by far in my 26 years, uh, I don't say favorite teams, but, but you guys have been had more energy. Our practices have been great. And a lot of times you get to this time, you're about half sick of each other already. But you guys have been great, and I appreciate that. I know some of you guys haven't been there a couple weeks. Some of you have been with me since mid-August, okay? Mm -hmm. But I appreciate you guys' efforts. Hope you guys have had fun these first four weeks. First and foremost, I told you guys last spring, or I told your parents, more than anything else, I want you guys to have a good time. I want you guys to love playing basketball. When you leave this program, you seniors, and there's, what, nine of you in here, I hope you guys leave and say, I'm glad that I played. I mean, I want to win just like the rest of you guys. You know, I still have close prayer day. You know, obviously winning isn't the only thing in life, and you guys can graduate, go to college, you can get married and have kids and all that stuff, and, and this stuff is great. And it, it's just four years of your life over eight or 90 years. It's small, but I hope you guys enjoy playing. And at the end of the day, as I always say, if winning wasn't important, we wouldn't keep score. There's a reason we keep score. 
One team's going to win, one team's going to lose. Doesn't mean you're a loser, but just means we got to get better the next day. I, I, I won't normally let you guys pray, but I'm going to leave it tonight if you guys don't care. You might go with that? All right, bring it in here. I'll let you guys want to do it. But hey, I'm proud to be your guys' coach. All right? Me. All right. All right, Jesus, I just ask that you keep both teams safe throughout the whole season long. Just help both teams to play the best of their ability. Help our guys to just relax and play hard and play smart and enjoy the game of basketball. And just enjoy being around each other and the coaching staff and what Nixon Community stands for. And we know that uh, they support us and want these guys to support each other and just keep everyone safe, and including the referees. Your name we pray. Amen. Amen. I said that first time I'm going to be windmill. Man, my lady's so dead. I'm at the top of the press. 
I'm at the top of the press. I'm tired as I'm That's what happened to those dead legs? Yeah. That back scratch? Yeah. You good. I got you. I, I ain't gonna miss no more. I got you. When you got up there, you was like... I was like, oh. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. This might not go in. I ain't gonna lie. I felt really good. It's crazy. It's my senior year stuff. Like, I'm still like amazed. It's my senior year, but nah, I felt really good. Everybody was, I, I can tell, like, except for me and Noah, everybody was a little nervous just because they haven't really played a whole lot of varsity, but it's fun playing with them. Find him? Yeah, I found him. <laughs> Hey, I thought of everything he does. I thought of everything he does. Hey, why? Don't let him bully. Don't let him bully. Hey, I ain't teaching that Miss Dunk, though. It's because you could never dunk. That's why. Yeah, I definitely don't think that I have like I get like the recognition and like the offers that I really I really want or deserve but I know that life isn't fair you know you got to keep your head down and you got to keep on working uh, it'll eventually come you know it'll play out if you just keep on working so that's just like something I think about and I also yeah don't get into my emotions like like a whole lot because I, I got an older brother that also helps me a lot with that because he went through uh, the recruitment he had a lot of a lot of offers and stuff like that so he kind of tells me like just keep your head down to work and i have a good uh, supporting cast and family around me that also like tell me like you know i'm saying stuff will come your way as long as you just like keep your head down and you work and you really get to it you know it'll, it'll all come together so that's what i think uh yeah so my, my oldest brother he he was like he he was uh really really good like he he dominated in, in the circuit like AYBL circuit and so he had, he had a lot of offers he uh, ended up tearing his ACL or MCL and like uh, popped out his knee or something like that in, in his junior year or something like that and some of his offers got taken away so uh, he's uh, yeah he's always been like instilled into me and he he's kept me working and just told me like no end because then like his senior year he he took he did like how to cope bad decisions didn't want to play. AAU and, and that kind of like led to a bad year or whatever. So he, he's instilled in me like don't don't take his route and like keep on pushing, keep my head down, and stuff like that. So I'm definitely like grateful for that. And then my older, my second oldest brother, he he was a good Knicks player too, and, and he I think he was elite. Like he was a great playmaker and passed the ball also. So it's definitely helped having two brothers that already came through here and and like I've set like a, a good like wreck up for me. So yeah, it was def it's definitely helpful. Who, Jay's? Yeah, yeah, I am. I'm definitely trying to. I, I'm, I'm trying to beat. I'm trying to beat all the records that my oldest brothers had, and then like set a good, set a good record, and, and also like instill into Jay's. Like, you gotta work. It, it ain't gonna come to you because everybody in my family do have, has talent. Like they, they've been like blessed with talent, but you still gotta work at it. Like, yeah. There it is. I love it. Where to call? Hey, make it ten, and we're done. We got everything we need to do today. We didn't take a break on this one, man. We just pushed straight through on this one. <laughs> right now, since he's just because he's coming back from football, the big thing right now, the one thing I'm looking for is rhythm. Just getting back to his normal rhythm, just because in football, he has to, um, especially being on the line, and you know, this being on the line, he has to sit there and be locked in on knees, as in basketball, it's much more freer and more movement. Once you bend your knees in basketball, chances are you're probably going right back up into your shot. But in football, it's all it's all about bending your knees and having leverage. So I just got to get his rhythm just back to normal. And two, don't, the, the cool thing with Kale is, especially from training him for so many years, is because he had really good training in the beginning with uh, his training with Don Gray and a lot of them. Like they worked on a lot of ball screen and like handles with Kale. I didn't have to work on none of that stuff. It was just mainly just focusing on right here, shooting, just getting the rhythm back to down to normal. Wow, bro. That was easy. Huh? 
Just in time, you, you, you get that, I'm feeling good. Pickleball, pickleball's cool. So we, so we try to get our work in on Fridays before pickleball comes in, because normally pickleball comes in about uh, seven-ish. Once they start setting up, we gotta get off the court. So that's why, that's another reason why we get in early. We try to beat everybody else. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's good to hear, man. You know what? Let me think here. Um, so I'll say this now, I'll be honest. In high school, since he's been, in high school, not one time. Middle school, every maybe every now and then in middle school, he, he knows I'm right, but he knows I won't lie about that one. Now. Yeah, that's right. Every now and then in middle school, it's not to say that it was like often, but I mean when you're when you're in the seventh grade and you're waking up at 5 a.m. Monday through Friday to get it's your hard, work in. It's hard to see the bigger picture of that. Area. Yeah, but but ever I'll say this now the. My favorite years of doing this with him so far, my favorite ones, junior year, last year, I thought he, that was the most focused I've seen him. Last year, that was the, and I can't, I mean, I can say now he's even more focused, yes, but I would say last year, that was like one of the, like the start of like him really, really growing up and really maturing. And this year, even now this year, the cool thing about it with this year is, and just in general with Kale is the fact that our morning workouts, I always leave it up to him. I Meaning he has to text me the night before and let me know. I don't, I don't force him to get in the gym or nothing. I just say, hey, look, dude, it's up to you. You text me the night before if you want to get in, and we're gonna get in. So it's all up to him. So it's not like me forcing him, saying he has to do it. Yeah. Like sometimes I be having trouble going to sleep just because I'm like happy, like I gotta get up and work out. Like sometimes, but yeah, sometimes like I don't really want to get up, but I know I need to. Yeah, no, most of the time I'm like up for it, like I'm ready to go. Like we're not, we're not a long clock here, so. Yeah, I wasn't always like that though. In, in junior high, I was definitely, <laughs> oh. I definitely had to get get called. I wouldn't wake up from my alarm, I had to get called. I'm Stuff sitting like outside, outside. <laughs> waiting on him. to pick me up, but yeah, <laughs> now. Yeah, but now hey. it's not like that. It's, you know. No, it's not like that now, but it was, it was, it was a yeah, couple it times in middle like school. Yeah, it, it was, was a couple of them where I had to wait a couple minutes, like, I'm sitting there about five minutes. I'm like, all right, he ain't coming out. Let me call him. And he's like, oh, my bad, man. Alarm. Yeah. I was like, all right, cuz. It wouldn't be as fun of a journey if you had to force someone to do it every yeah. single time. Yeah. It wouldn't even, I wouldn't want to do it then. Y'all yeah. starting early today. Huh? Y'all starting early today. Huh? Oh, no, we're good. No, I can't wait, though, man. Tonight, we got, got a good one tonight against Central. Yeah. How you feeling? As a coach, I'm all right. <laughs> Hopefully they bring their A game, bring their energy. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling great. I, I couldn't sleep last night just because I was so like excited for it. Just because I, like, I like playing good games. Like, you, know, you play somebody bad, you ain't getting better. So it's like, it ain't really nothing to be excited about. But like, yeah. And it's like good competition, I'm always excited. And I feel good. I think the rest of the team will feel good too. Just because we've been having good practices. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna we ain't gonna have no actual practice. It's just gonna be like, will we? Yeah, it's, it's gonna be like shooting and stuff like that. Maybe. Like we'll just put our shoes on and shoot. We won't even put our practice shoes on. I don't, I don't think, but you never know. Yeah, the game ain't until 7.30, so he might have No, no, I can say 8.30, bro. I can say 8.30? Yeah, bro, we're we'll at 8.30. We're we'll looking for the same. Oh, my God. I've been messing with Kyle since. We've been working out since, like, I don't know when. I, I think I met Kyle in fifth grade, and we've been, like, cool ever since. We worked out a lot, a lot together. I, th I think that they did it, like, I think they put us on opposite sides so they can have, like, this Kale and Kyle thing like, in the championship game. Because they know it's going to bring a lot of people out. That's what I think. I didn't think of it from that standpoint, but he's I, I believe he's honestly right about that one. It's like, you know what, with them being seniors this year and being two of the top players in the area, you probably do probably want to see them in the championships. Yeah, you see, I brought that one, too. Just yeah, I know, yeah. We probably should work out that one just because it's closer to the game. So what you do? Bus leaves at six, okay? Please don't be late. You guys are great today. Um, 
try to get there uh, early enough. You guys kind of sit and watch a game for us. That's Willard and Bolivar. And then you guys can shoot a halftime like you did today. Make sure you guys put your game shoes on and just go from there. Any questions? Where are your red tops? Hey, get in here. All right, let's have a good one. Not Eagles on three. One, two, three. Eagles. Eagles. Mm. What are you doing that? Huh? Dickies. I'm gonna negotiate with him. <laughs> Alright. Oh, really? You, you really will? Yeah. Alright. You play for next week? Yes, sir. You don't know Coach Boyce, do you? Of course I do. Really? You guys going to win state this year or not? Uh, I hope so. We're looking forward to it. Trying let, to do that. You've let me down for about 10 years. I'm sorry. We went last year and we didn't get it. I've went, I went when you guys go play yeah. and you lose every time. Uh, I'm sorry. So <laughs> the last time you guys went to state, I didn't go yeah. and you still lost. We still lost. We did. We so. did. It's all right. Maybe this year, right? Maybe this year. Hey, seriously though, if you want them. Tell them you talk to Eric up there. You can get 10% off of them. Talk to Eric? Yeah. So sounds good. Hey, why he, why he clouded on the state like that? Like that. Hey, man, you know what I'm <laughs> He really pressed me, though. I, I didn't like that. I'm going to, but then I don't know how to spell. No. I'm just going to look you up on Google. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Kill Cole's listening to it. <laughs> All I listen to is Rod. Everybody know that though. Everybody, I, I swear, everybody. Yeah, ask anybody I talk to, I only listen to Rod. Big Rod, huh? Yeah. It's gonna be a million, a million, uh, a million minutes, Rod. But him, and then I said like Rilo, Rodriguez, and then I don't even know. I, I literally don't even like. Don't That's know. a solid four though. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, maybe like G Herbo five. Okay. okay. Yeah, G Herbo, right, right, G Herbo, right, right, right. something like that. Drake, Drake in there. So while well, well, every time but, but I not, but not new Drake, old Drake though. Old Drake. You don't old like Drake. new Drake? Nah, don't like him. You went rocking with that dance album? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> you funny? You you like that album? I'm playing, I'm playing. Uh, I, I told you Rod one time. You remember yeah. I said I said I want I want like a mix where it's like Rod at the oh, beginning and it's slow. And then, and then like I do like a dunk or something and then it switch like some hard. Okay, we gotta we gotta get that going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta get that going. Yeah, that would be lovely. Yeah, we gotta get that going. <laughs> Senior year or two, that would be crazy. Uh, you know I'm with that. Yeah, I know. You did that one. You did that, that, uh, that one at Parkview? Yeah, yeah, I like that. One of the angle, like, one of the kids coming and he was like, bro, this slow ain't it. They did. Ah, that's funny. Nah, uh, I liked it though. Uh, it was it like, it like, it like art. Like, really I'm, but. Like, some people will, like look at me and think I'm talking to myself, but I'm singing during the game. I swear. Damn. I'm singing old Drake. Oh, Drake? Yeah. Old was, Drake. Was, was one to be in your head? Huh? Was one to be in your head? Own it. Own it. Own it. Uh, own it. And then, like, what's the other? Nah, that's deep. Yeah. Own it by Drake. But yeah, like, I, I like to sing in my head. It, like, keep me going. Like, I sing, like, I like singing, like, a little bit out loud, but. That's the same with football, too? Nah. Football, nah. football too, like, you got to go. Like, you hitting somebody, like, yeah, I, you know, you don't look at football, I think it's like poetry. I mean, it's like, if it's like nah, a No, it's not the same for football. Yeah, but football it's like, well. you going, you trying to hit people, you trying to be violent. Yeah. I feel like basketball, it's like a little different. It's still like physical, but it's more like poetry. I remember to this day, we was in seventh grade, and, and uh, it was at Branson, and I was eating up. I had like 29 that game, seventh grade, and and it was like an inbounds, and Noah, and I was singing the song, and Noah was like, he looked at me, he like, what'd you say, are you talking to me? Um, I'm not talking to you, <laughs> I'm just singing, so. Yeah, I, was, I just do it, just keep me, keep me. Cause I want you, I'm holding my breath, I guess that's what I'm, honestly cause Yeah, man. This the room, man. This the room. 
I'm gonna wear these. I'm gonna wear these eventually, maybe tomorrow. They just they they just sent us these though. Everybody's like these are here. Mm -hmm. These look KDs. I like them a lot. How you feel about the color? You like them? Yeah, I like them. It's like they kind of remind me like KD, like Texas, like these boxes is really just basketball shoes for real. Jeez. So. I ain't gonna try to wear a whole lot of shoes like too too much. I'm gonna try to bounce it around throughout the season. You gotta have the Crocs. Oh, for sure. You know, <laughs> you know I'm a cute man, and it's a little slippers. Yeah, yeah. It's a little protein shake, a little vanilla protein shake. You ain't got no steroids in the mission. Mission gonna be Misha, on. Oh, man. <laughs> Misha gonna be on that tail. <laughs> Yeah, ain't nothing like that going on. I knew the bounce was from somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Some. <laughs> I said, give me some. <laughs> ah, you fake. You faking. Uncle Marcus, could it be fresh for you? Uh, can I just get um? Can I get number three? You said the number two. No, nah, the number three. What size fry and drink? Uh, just medium. And what's a drink for you? Can I just do uh lemonade? 1186, uh, do you want any sauce? Yeah, can I get Arby's sauce? Arby's sauce? Yeah, it's not good. Oh, I'm steady going for it. <laughs> Here's that for you. I appreciate it. He's gonna park right there and eat. He funny and he goofy. <laughs> what you doing? Huh? What you doing? <laughs> you, my boy. you coming to the game? Yeah, you is. I said probably. He said probably. He crazy. He want to see the show. <laughs> Don't do that. But I'm the same hair though too. But yeah, I'm gonna twist my hair just like yours. I'm gonna use my son though because I'm born. I was born before you. The January babies are on top though. And then January 15th, you're gonna get Arby's. This is crazy because we never watched a wrestling match. Have you watched wrestling match? Yes. You ever watch a wrestling match? Yes. Yeah. I watch the match. 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 I Pretty good. I mean, both teams taking the dub in the first game. Nixa with a big, big win. 83 to 40. I mean, the Eagles started out cold, couldn't really find a bucket, hadn't scored a point in the first three minutes of the game, and then they scored 83 the rest, and the offense was great. Well, I mean, if you're saying knocking a little rust off is Kale Combs dropping 21, getting eight rebounds, four on offense, four on defense, nine assists, and seven steals is knocking some rust off. I mean, that's good with me. <laughs> Central, on the other hand, winning game number one. They're 1-0, 85-44. That was against Harrison. They played a great game, and they were head coached by former Nixie Eagles coach Jordan Epps. Epps, back in high school, was first team all-conference, all-district for Coach Osborne. Also played under 
coach Lancet, he was assistant coach at the time. Back in 2012, he held single season records for steals and for
Hey, we're in good shape. You guys that haven't gotten in, be ready to go. Okay? Any questions? All right, let's go. Just bring it in right here. Let's go, Eagles. All three. One, two, three. Eagles. Eagles. Let's go. Yeah, we need to put that up, bro. I, no, you know what he said? He said there was no contact. Seven. 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 Seven.
Championship tomorrow, right, Lincoln? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Brock was talking. There was a whistle with like three plus minutes to go where people thought you might be called for over the back, mm -hmm. but I guess the guy had to hold your arm and everything. Yeah. You remember that play? Did your heart stop a little bit thinking it might be your fifth foul? Or? Yeah, I remember. Uh, no, not really. I trust my teammates to, to finish the game out. We were, we were about what, five or seven, so you know, I trusted them. And I knew I started to go across the offensive board. Just like, to have multiple opportunities to get in the basket and going up a little bit more. So, I mean, I was a, a little nervous, but yeah, I, I kind of knew that there was going to come. All right, man. All right. 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 All